Tamara? Hey, I'm here. Are you going to lie to me too or are you going to tell the truth? No, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's going on, Tamara? What's up? What's up? So, Well, well uh, first off, are you a... Do you have children? I do. I'm a baby mama. You're a baby, baby mama. mama. Are you are you like a Fantasia baby mama or are you like a Brandy baby mama? Two different songs. I, I like both of them. Okay. So I can't put them How many I'm children like do you have? I have one. Okay. And, and how old are you? I'm 30. Are you married? I am not. I'm a baby mama. Okay. I'm so what my question initially was, is there any chance for you baby mamas to get a high value man? And if so, what should you have to do? What do you have to say on the subject? So I feel like, I feel like I am attracting high value men. Um, the guy that I'm talking to, I've been talking to him for like six months and he is marriage minded. And he does throw out, you know, questions and do you stuff have a son about or, Do you have a son or a daughter? I have a daughter. Okay. And your daughter's how old? Seven. Okay. So he's yeah. marriage minded? He is. He's marriage minded. And so, I mean, of course, you know, it's six months now. So it might be to the point where we should probably be, be exclusive. But he hasn't actually asked me to be whoa, exclusive. Whoa, 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 whoa. That doesn't compute. How, you're right. How can so he be marriage minded and you're not exclusive? No, we're not exclusive. Like he's made comments about, you know, me being his wife. I want you to be my wife. Are you guys sexually just... active? No, we haven't had sex. Okay. Why? Why? Because. Cause I don't get, I'm stingy. I'm stingy with the, with the puss. Excuse me? I'm stingy with it. I do not give it up easily. Were you married to your, yeah. were you married to your daughter's, your, your baby mama though, right? My baby mama. I've never been married. No, but I just okay, don't. So let, I know. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let, let's talk about this though. See, um, I find it funny that women like yourself, baby mamas, all of a sudden want to get stingy with the puss after you didn't, gave your womb up before a ring but then you want the high value men to put a ring on it before he gets it so am i supposed to give it away you got damn right you already did because here's the thing see that's what i mean <clears throat> ma'am you're a used vehicle wanting brand new 2021 prices <laughs> you can laugh all you want to ma'am but you just said six months you're not even exclusive you're talking about he's marriage minded what do you think he's inserting his penis in his hand? No, that's the thing. He could be inserting it somewhere else. Exactly, the because thing. here's the thing. Men with options don't play these games. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you what you have to do, but I'm telling you that if you're telling us or telling me that you have had sex with a man and had a child outside of marriage, and then you go into the dating market and telling another guy, you got to pay a higher price than this other guy did. Is the child's father in the life? Yeah, he's in his life. He's in her life. Is he a high value man? I would say so. No, no. Yeah, but is he but... making ten thousand dollars a month or more? No. Then he's not a high value man. Is the guy that you've been with six months who's non exclusive making ten thousand yeah. dollars a month or more? Yeah, he is. So in other words, the the broke wound for free, but the rich can't even get this is crazy. This is crazy. I honestly think that you know, a lot of the advice out there is to reserve the goodies. There's no reserving anything, ma'am. You've already had a child. See, see the, the advice that you're getting there from. Let me let me take it down a page. The advice that you ladies are getting there from is from women. I'm telling you, as a man, as a high value man who have high value men, clients and friends, this is one of the things that puts you in the no category. He may enjoy your time. He may like seeing you, but I guarantee you this. You are not seriously on his radar because in, even, there's no way he can go back and tell his colleagues, other high value men, this story and maintain respect. You are saying you had a child with a lower value man, but then you're with a higher value man and you won't even have sex. You're not a child. You're 30, right? I'm 30, yeah. So why are you playing games with this sex? It's manipulation, ma'am. That's what it is. 
But if I, why? It's it's not. It's not six okay. months, ma'am. It's not six days. It's manipulation. Yeah, I mean, at some point we'll, we can get to that point. No, no, you can see and see. Here's what happened. Let me tell you. Let me let me go ahead and play the magic eight ball for you. When you finally decide to to give it up to him, he's gonna take it and he's gonna split. Because men do not like to be played like this. That's good. Yes. I, my guess is you've already blown this. M men do not like to be played like this. He has investments in this, so he wants to get the tail. But you, I don't know. And here's the thing. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. You've heard this from Steve Harvey and all these other dating gurus. But you know what? No men follow Steve Harvey. There are no men in these audiences. And one of the biggest mistakes you ladies try to do is to become born again virgins, <laughs> wait 90 days after you're already mothers. You're laughing, but you played yourself. You said he's marriage minded, but then you say he's not monogamous. Why would he be? That's a question. I Did you ever think of it this way? Or are you thinking of it like most women? Like you're in the power position. You're, you're, you're approaching this like you are in the power position in a negotiation. Do you make more than him? I do. There you go. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Right there. You make more even... you make more than him, but you had baby for a lesser man. Woo! Your godfather is certified. Oh, no, you made a mistake, ma'am. I get it. I get it. But let me try to help you with how men look at this. You earn on par with the high value man. You're asking me? Yes. Yes. Okay. You earn on par with him. And he's getting less from you. How long were you with the child, your father, your child's father, your baby daddy? <laughs> How long were y'all together? Probably four years. Four years. And in what year did you have your child? Um, we were off and on. I had my child in 2012. I don't know what that means, ma'am. I don't know your life. What year of the we're relationship? 2012. Can you hear me? Yes, but but how long had you been together before you got pregnant? Uh, about a year. So, you've been with him for six months. He can't get no coochie. You were with this lower earning man for a year and he can get a baby. I was young. Yeah. Oh, see, let me stop you right there. That's not, that's, that's some... I know, but where do we go from here? Oh, here's where you, you go from here. Here's where you go from here. You Here's where you go from here. Are you listening? You listening? Don't, yeah, don't f this up playing games you're playing games and i'm trying to get i'm trying to help you not this up you're lucky to have somebody even dealing with you especially somebody at his level and you're playing games with him there are younger women out without children out there who are not putting him through this but here's another thing though exactly and he can go get it from exactly so here's the thing can you go get another one of him yeah. I okay, then good I, luck to that. See, that's and that's what I wanted to hear. See, ladies, this is what I need you to hear. This is this woman is playing games. This woman is playing games, and it, and, and that's what I mean. No, 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 no. This is what I. you This woman is playing games. She's got a man, sounds like a decent man, and she's slow playing him. And ultimately, it's because she got her own money. And if he needs something, he can go get it from somewhere else, brother. I hope you do go get it from somewhere else. Because if you, and this woman thinks at 30 years old, she's still thinking she's the 20-something. She's hit the wall. She just don't know it yet. What you are now witnessing is the birth of an eternal seven. In five to seven years, this woman is going to become hell on wheels to men. This is going to be that where all the good men, all these dusties and crusties and downloads, and I can't get this, can't get that. You've heard about them on the channel. 
Anytime I talk to a woman in their mid early, the mid to late thirties, early forties, I can't find no good man and then find out what you had one, but you slow played him. Remember, remember months and months and months. You've heard these women had a baby early on. Well, I was dumb and made a mistake, but then you want to make this other guy jump through hoops that this guy didn't jump through for those who are keeping score at home for years. She got pregnant with a guy in a year who's making less money than her. And she's been with a high earning man for six months. He ain't seen no parts of the Punani. He's already talked about marriage, such and so forth, but she's playing with him. And then you wonder why when you run into guys like this, they slow play you because they deal with women like this. I'll let you have the last word. Kevin, I just really wanted to say, you know, to advocate for women like me. Off my phone. Even better. This don't kill my vibe. This don't kill my vibe. I don't advocate for foolishness. Ladies, understand something. Don't listen to women like these. Don't take advice from women like these. Get away from women like this.